The gospel does have particular content. It's yes. a way of seeing God. Yes. It's a way of understanding yourself and your world. And it's important to have that content if you're going to be a bold witness. And therefore, it merits, because it does have content, make sure you know what the gospel is, and then having a plan of how to share it. You might think if you memorize something that you've actually taken away the spontaneity, but actually when you do go to the trouble of it, then you can relate to the person and actually make sure that at the end of the day, what they're gonna get is the gospel. Over the years, you've developed, you have a plan yeah. that you use in sharing the gospel with people in different places, whether it's your study as a pastor or coffee shops or wherever. And, and it's not unique to me. Someone shared it with me and with the group that I was involved with. It's called the Bridge Illustration. But yeah, we are going to be posting a kind of verbatim with the scriptural backup and so on so that people can read and, and maybe even memorize uh, what they're doing. But I'm going to just show you a little bit as if we're sitting, say, in a restaurant. Okay. I've used just the serviettes. I've used the table things. Uh, and, uh, and even on a beach. Charlie, oh, lead me okay. to Jesus. Well, okay, <laughs> well, first I would ask you, you know, we've known each other for a while. Would it be okay if I showed you an illustration of what it is to have a relationship yeah, with Jesus? Do. Okay, well, I'm gonna start here, and there's this, this is people, I'm sorry I'm a bad writer and drawer, but anyway, there's two-way arrows there, and the reason I'm doing that, you can see that, uh, is because the Bible explains why it is that God created people. And maybe surprisingly to us, the reason he made us is because he made us to live in a friendship or relationship with his son Jesus. That's what we're made for. And there are, there's, you know, uh, there's a passage in scripture which we uh, would look at it normally, 1 Corinthians 1, 9, and we could see that we're made for fellowship with Jesus. But even although that's the case, there's a problem, this thing called sin. So I would draw a wall and put rebellion and explain about that. And then I'd show it another way, which is two cliffs. Again, here's people and here's God. <laughs> and, and then we would go, we would talk about the problem. And we would look one, two, three, all people sin, everybody. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death, it leads to separation with God. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. There is this thing called sin which actually permanently, eternally separates us from God. And there's nothing we could do about it unless God intervened, which he did wonderfully in Jesus. And so then I draw in the cross. And we go to another portion of scripture, John 3, 16 and 17, and here's Jesus, and here, and uh, Ray David, what I would do is I would have a Bible or on my app or whatever, I would plant okay. them. Would you read that verse that's sure. circled there? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world in order that the world but in order that the world might be saved through him. Okay, this is what we call good news. Jesus came to wipe out the effects of this thing called sin uh, and to make it possible for us to, to, to be brought back to God and have eternal life. That's what he, and how do we get that? It's by believing in him. That's the only, way, only thing that's required in order to, to receive it. Now there are reasons why he's the only person qualified to be the bridge. He's God's son. He died for our sins. He who knew no sin became sin on our behalf that we might become the righteous God. And he rose from the dead, which means he conquered death and he brings life. So, so then we would look to a passage in the Bible which talks about what it means to believe and open the door of your life to him. And then we would end with a prayer to Jesus so that by the end, we've shown why God made us, the problem of sin, what God did in Jesus, and how we can receive eternal life uh, by opening the door of our life to him. That's nice, Charlie. So how would you lead the person in prayer? Well, I would have it there and I would ask them if this is what they wanted to say. And then they would say yes or no. Uh, and then if they said yes, then I'd say, well, you know what, I'm gonna pray first. And then, uh, and then perhaps in the next video, we can talk more about that as to actually the how. But let's okay. pray right now, yeah, is that okay? So. Lord Jesus, I thank you that we have in G you 
the savior of the world, not just for the world, but for me, for anybody. Paul said, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it's the power of God for salvation to anyone and everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. And so I pray that you would help us to learn how to share the good news of the gospel in such a way that many could come to faith. Help us to open our mouths and then speak the good news of the gospel. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.